Well, hello everybody. Richard from Resonant Frequency, the Amateur Radio Podcast. Um, I, de I decided here a while back I was going to do some uh, probably hints and tips, that kind of stuff for uh, hot spots and DMR, D Star, and that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to get to some of the little stuff like that. However, this came up the other day. And right now, I'm using one of these little Chinese MMDVM hotspots. Got it marked. Uh, but I've got the little MMDVM hotspot. And I, right now we're working with D Star. Uh, so, top a minute. Okay, so we're using IC91AD. I've had this radio, uh, crap, since D Star started to become prevalent in the amateur radio community uh, quite a few years ago. And it's been on hiatus, as a, have I, for the last few years. And um, I dug it out when I decided to get a hot spot. I wanted to experiment with a hot spot and see what was going on. So I pulled out this little D Star radio and programmed it up. Now, not only am I able to link with, uh, link to uh, the reflectors or the RF reflectors and uh, some of the local repeaters and stuff, I um, also was hoping. Hoping to be able to hook up to the DCS and XLX and the XRF reflectors. So, um, the problem we ran into is my old buddy Russ over at Linux in Hamshack, um, he recently put up an XLX reflector. He's discovered digital radio, God love him. And uh, he's going DMR. Uh, XLX or uh, D Star, um, I think Echo Link. He's wanting to get going on Fusion and all this stuff. He's trying to pull all this stuff into one reflector, uh, best he can. However, um, I was helping him test the thing, and he said, "Hey, you know, come over here and test this one. Let's uh, see what's going on." And the problem is that. I went over there and I found that I was unable to link to his reflector. Well, I was able to link to his reflector. What you're hearing right now is uh, I am currently, well, uh, I went ahead and linked to his reflector. If you're interested in finding out more about that, it's uh, XLX659A. Uh, part of the Linux in a Ham Shack digital pro project, and uh, I have no problem promoting them guys because I helped get them, get the thing started, sort of. And uh, so I'm currently running, well, the operating system that came on the original Pi Stars that I have, um, which is or the original hotspots I have, is Pi Star. Uh, and I'm all for that because it's open source. However, when I went to link to Russ's reflector, XLX uh, 659A, which is what we're hearing right now, it started doing this. And what the problem is, is that for some reason, the hotspot is dropping the link and then reestablishing the link. And we were kind of confused about what was going on with it. So we started trying to find different things. But as it stands right now, with the current version of PyStar that's on this uh, hotspot, every 50 seconds, it drops the link and then reestablishes the link. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move over to 
the desktop. And I'm going to try and show y'all what the setup is. And then I'm going to come back and show you how we, fi how we fixed it. So y'all hang on, and we'll be back in just a few. Friends and neighbors, we are back and we are currently looking at the PyStar digital dashboard on the hotspot we were working with just a few minutes ago. And what I want to call your attention to is we are linked to XLX 659A. Okay. Um, we This is the one we're having the issue with. And here in a minute, it'll drop the link and then reacquire the link once again. Um, of course, we'll have to wait three days for it to happen because we're waiting on it to happen. Anyway, oh, wait a minute. Link to XLX6598. And it doesn't matter how long we have this linked up, it will continue to do this. I let it set for about a half hour at one point and it would link and then drop the link and then link back up and uh, could, we couldn't figure out what the problem was now the first thing uh, well I had to go around I had a really hard time digging up information on this particular issue um, there were places that where they had information but it was very sparse and very bits and pieces. So one of the things we need to know is that to work any of the D-Star reflectors other than just the REF reflectors, we have to have the D-plus activated on the hotspot. Use D-plus for X-Ref. Now it says X-Ref and that's what threw me a little bit because uh, X reflectors are one of the ones that you have to have to have this going. But now it's my understanding that you have to have D for DCS reflectors, X, uh, LX reflectors, you know, whatever the reflectors are. If they are not REF reflectors, then you have to uh, have to use this particular, have this particular switch on. So I went ahead and turned it on. I, for some reason it was off uh, by default in this particular uh, version of PyStar, but I did not configure that. I did not turn it on when I was doing the configuration. So as we look right up here, we'll see we're currently running PyStar version 3.4.17. And the big bugaboo of this thing is that uh, I'm still learning this. I was off there for some time. I'm learning this. Pie, uh, raspberry Pis were just coming in when I got off there. Uh, the, I guess D Star had probably been around eight, nine years when I got off there. And I come back and I'm currently trying to work with these digital modes because if any of y'all listen to Richard's Radio Adventure, you'll you know that uh, I'm currently living in a place where there are no local repeaters. And when I say no local repeaters, I mean uh, less than 15, 20 miles away. And because of my current, because of my current situation as far as being able to put antennas up and stuff, it's been a real challenge to get in to even the closest uh, repeaters to my location. So. Uh, so, as I said, the current version of the uh, PyStar operating system is 3.4.17. And I got to digging around and really couldn't find a whole lot of information about what was going on with this hotspot. So I decided to go to uh, one of the websites that details, kind of details how to upgrade the operating system. And, you know, I'd already turned the D-plus on, still wasn't having any luck. Russ was watching it on the other end and listening to it on the other end. And he could hear that, okay, he would hear bits and pieces of me keying up and trying to talk. 
before it would drop out, then it would drop out and show back up. Turns out there was a little bit of a uh, an internet issue on his end. We found out further into the conversation after we got it working, but that didn't have anything to do with what was going on with us. So the important thing right now is to remember this version number. So I'm not going to go into detail over flashing it. I'm going to post the website somewhere that I use to get the information. It's got a huge amount of information on these hotspots. So y'all hang loose a minute. Uh, we're going to put in the newly flashed uh, SD card, and then we'll be back. So now we're back. Uh, what I've done is I already had flashed the card, and I have two of these five-star hotspots. I have one that runs DMR and one that's running uh, D-Star. The D-Star one is the one we experiment on, but uh, I had already replaced the operating system solved the problem, so I just swapped out the cards this time. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll go ahead and uh, dig up the link for the website that I was talking about because he has an awful lot of good information on the past, the uh, hotspots running PyStar and uh, the uh, DMR and other digital modes and stuff like that. And we'll get that, uh, I'll try and I think I can get the links into the comment field. If not, come over to uh, Resonant Frequency, the Amateur Radio Podcast, and uh, there should be a link over there. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, as you can see, we're currently unlinked. Um, it, yeah, let's go over here. Well, it doesn't show over there. Anyway, so we're currently unlinked. From Russ's reflector and I have the radio over here with me and I'll get it back over by the microphone on the uh, on our headset so that y'all can listen and we're going to current we're going to go ahead and link to the same reflector and give that a second and we'll be right on top of it um, I think there we go Link to XLX6598. So we're now linked to XLX6598A. Five, uh, uh, and as y'all remember from just a few minutes ago, when we were linked to that, it would drop out and then re-link to the reflector about every 50, 55 seconds, thereabouts. And while we're waiting on that, let me move over here for a minute and show y'all that we have pretty much, in fact, I don't think I made any changes to the uh, information. When you go ahead and, uh, when you go ahead and flash the new version onto an SD card. When you go to start that for the first time, it's always best to save uh, backup, and you can drop that backup onto the boot sector. Uh, yeah, boot sector of the uh, SD card, and when it comes up, you will have 99% of your stuff. I did run into an issue with the uh, video screen or the little uh, OLED screen on the past, on the uh, hotspot. And that was just a matter of the, the setting wasn't preset over under, uh, under expert, one of the expert things. I'll go over in a minute. But it wasn't set to turn it on. And once I went in and found the setting and set it to turn the, the uh, uh, OLED screen on, uh, we had no more problems. I uh, didn't even have to flip it. That's something else we're going we're gonna to talk about in a future video. 
and I still have, I'm sitting here, I know y'all can't see me, I don't have a webcam, so I'm having to patch this together as we go, but I still have the radio next to my head so that it's close to the microphone on the, uh, on the uh, headphones. So uh, what I mainly wanted to call your attention to here is I run the time of announcement. That's also adjustable. I'll probably get that in on this, on one video. But the D plus is on. You can see now a lot of this stuff gives you a little bit of an idea of what's going on with a particular setting. But the D plus is on for XREF. If it were off, we probably would be having issues. Uh, my default reflector is, of course, Russ's right now because we're, I'm trying to help him out best I can, uh, testing this thing. But if we go up here, like I said, you'll see that the, uh, we are now running version 4.1.2 of PyStar. And we updated the hat, uh, week or two back and that kind of stuff but now we have everything up to date on this particular buy store or a particular hotspot now my other hotspot for running DMR I've made changes to the colors because I can't imagine a whole lot of people caring for this orange but uh, it's what the developers wanted so we're good and just remember, if all else fails, you can always go back to factory reset. I would suggest getting a second SD card just for the sake of having it. And that way, as you saw, I was able to take the old SD, the other SD card and put it in and be back to the other version. So let's see before we go. Well, if we go back to the admin screen, and I've had the radio next to my head the whole time I've been talking, you'll see that we're still linked. And if I do a link status request off of the radio, let me see if I can get to it. Link to XLX65. So we're still linked to it, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and unlink so that you can see that we're passing commands. The audio is going through, even though I don't have someone on the other end. And not linked. And if we wish to go back there one more time, just for the sake of argument, We'll go ahead and link off of the radio. Link to XLX6598. So there you go, kids. I know there was something I was going to go show y'all in uh, so show y'all in the config screen. However, I can't remember at the moment what it was. Uh, making a list of stuff I'm going to go over in some of these videos and we will definitely definitely get those rounded up and and uh, pointed y'all's way anyway thank you for your time my name is Richard KB5JBV go ahead and give us a like or something over on uh, over on YouTube um, the more likes we get, the better off we are. The more users, people watching our videos, the happier we are. And with that, I'm going to let y'all go. My name is Richard, KB5JBV, and we will see y'all next time.